Welcome to my channel. <laughs> right there is the beautiful Miss Ruka. Come on. She's uh, on her collar for the first time. I've never walked her on a collar. It's only been Honey Badger. So you'll see her react a little differently to that. Again, this is the first time we've done this with a collar. I'm walking her on a light flexi lead. As I've said in other videos because... Come on. As I've said in other videos because I like to give them the illusion that they're off leash. But that if I need to call them... I can tug them along if they're not responding to my verbal commands. And we're doing this in preparation for our off-leash work with them. We're teaching them to just follow along and stay in my area as I walk. After we uh, do some off-leash work here in the next week or two, I'll begin doing formal leash training with a lead and teaching them to heal and that kind of stuff. Again, she's adjusting to having the lead on her collar well. Oops, sorry, sweetie. Kick some snow in her face. You keep twisting me up. Good girl. See, she's a very sweet girl. All of them have great temperaments. So I'm very happy with the litter. Again, looking at the car going by. Give her a couple clicks to get her to follow along. Again, if she doesn't respond to that, I'll give her a tug, but that wasn't necessary there. Yippee in. Good girl. Go potty. Come on. You can see all the pups have taken to these, uh, walks very well they really stick to my area and follow along well and this is prepping them again for some of the off-leash work we're going to be doing with them a couple clicks to get her to follow along those clicks we imprinted in them from about four weeks old for recall and now we're using them to help get them to follow along up on the lead here and we'll use them off-leash and you can transfer that over to any sound you like once you get them responding to it. You just do that by uh, intermixing that uh, new command or sound in with the clicks when you do it and then slowly use it more and more until they just respond to that. Give her a quick tug. Good girl. Again, this is the first time she's had the lead attached to her collar. And She's doing very well. She's not really reacting to it at all. Just watching a couple people walk their dog over there across the street. Couple tug, quick tug. Good girl. girl get such pretty blue eyes yes you do but you can hear the dog barking over there and was going to check it out I don't know if my uh, camera's picking that up there's a dog barking through the window back there I'm going to see who that was Come on. She's 
Come on. Come on. <laughs> How you doing? Come on. Good girl. See, now this is a very good training opportunity. It allows me to have the distraction of some people with their dogs and to teach her to keep moving along. We don't make a fuss, we just give her a couple tugs. We just teach her that the pack keeps moving. Good girl. See there, she hit the end of the thing and checked herself. I like to see that. These are smart puppies. Yeah, every time she gets to the end, she lightens up just a little bit. She's starting to learn her, the length of the uh, flexi. Good girl. Let's give her a quick tug if she pulls for a little more than an instant. Again, we're not teaching them to heal or anything like that. That comes later. We're just teaching her to stay in our area and follow along, to pay attention to us. Normal leash training with a lead and proper commands like healing that come uh, later on after I begin doing my off-leash work with them. Yeah, and you can see, she's a smart puppy, very confident, outgoing. Just like your sister. Hi. Neighbor waving at me. Watch a squirrel over there. Good girl. Squirrel over there, she's seeing, but she's listening to my clicks and coming along. I like to see that. Good girl. Nope, good girl. Quick pop. Good girl. Good girl. See that? She saw the squirrel. She's like, hey. <laughs> tree there now. You like that, huh? You want to play with him? I bet you'd love him to death. <laughs> There's another one. I told you, we got squirrels everywhere. Again, we teach her just to come along. She's allowed to chase them a little bit if they're in our area, but she's got to keep moving. Good girl. Good girl. If you look at my channel, I have videos where my adult dogs run into wildlife and chase it and I'm able to easily call them off and this is building the foundation for that. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. No, not the back it. Good girl. Well, I hope you enjoyed this walk with Ruka. Ah, this way. No, no, no. There you go. Now, did you see my reaction there when she did that? I just gave her a quick series of uh, commands telling her to don't, and she immediately stopped. You know, you don't get excited. You don't baby them. You just let them know what you want. Oh, girl, you're just so good. I'm so proud of you. 
And there you go, there's Miss Ruka. Again, I shoot these uh, just to show you their progress with each hike. Again, they get better and better. This was her first hike on the on the uh, collar. I've used a uh, harness before that. And uh, she did surprisingly well there. See, her eyes are starting to change a little bit. Pretty girl. Well, that's all. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell down below. You'll get email notifications when our new videos come out. Also, check out our Teespring store. Lots of cool merch. Good way to support the channel and get something in return. If you do uh, enjoy these videos, we ask that you just uh, take a small effort and hit that subscribe button. If you aren't, it really goes a long way to help the channel. That's all. Bye. Thanks for watching. Check out our merch store down below. Yeah.